Hey, Spig, how are you? I was going to ask you about Snowy Moon, because mine was a little gray this morning. I rebooted, and I thought it was still there, but seems all right, I guess. It's, it's good in the daylight. I should uh, <clears throat> set the time to dark and see what it looks like now. Let's, uh, let's try that. Yeah, I'm fine. Let's see. We'll set the day, the time to two in the morning. Let's see what it looks like. Well, it's not terrible. Let's see what it looks like in the truck. Uh, still a little gray inside the truck. God dang it. I don't get that. Mine did the same, rebooted and it was fine. Yeah, I rebooted already. And it didn't really go away. I guess it just won't drive at night. Today I'll worry about it later. Uh, it's at time six in the morning, should work. Hey, the DI, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Where are we here? We're in Garden City. Why don't I go next door to the Peterbilt dealership? Oh, give people a chance to join. Go tweak the truck a little bit. Yeah, I'll have to do that, uh, I guess, after the live stream. Okay, let's see. What did I want to do here? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what we, we we may find a way to do that yet. Hey, Stab, how are you? I think I generally end up driving a... Hey, Scott. I generally end up driving a... 8v92 in, uh, holy, look at those pipes. Oh, a set of pipes. Every live stream, I think I end up driving one at some point. Um, yeah, all we need is the old time logos. There we go. Freebeard. Yeah, I'm going to start with Dom's, I think, just for giggles, and uh, maybe move on to some other stuff. But, uh, got to love old Dom's truck. Hey, does anybody know how to get rid of the headache rack on this thing? Hey, Zeke. So when I put the headache rack on, now I don't see any way to get rid of it. That's weird, eh? There's no, how do you, how do you ditch it? Could put on a flatbed or rack. I got no X anymore. There's no X. I can put on a PTO hydraulic tank, but I can't get rid of it. <laughs> Zeke, you're supposed to be dry. Hey, Dustin, I am. Like, look, there's the check mark. There's no X normally, like, so if you put something on, like we can put on the cab arrow, I can X it out, put it back on, there's an X. 
You do a headache rack, you don't get an X. You, you want to do something with the pipe? There's an X. You want to do something here? There's an X. You go to the headache rack? No X. That is weird. I haven't seen it before. Oh, well, that's... A, I put the arrow wings on just to cover up the gap in the side. And I like the uh, Pops logo on there anyway, so... It's good. Uh, all right, so I should figure out something to do with this thing. We could. I'm going to drive back over to the uh, to the yard. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have a GPS in here? Nope. Better get one. I'm lost without it. Can we put one? Oh, we gotta get a CB radio in it. Oh, black with an orange backlight. Go with the uh, what we got going on. Yeah, we got it just whatever GPS right, top left. There we go. Nice. All right, that'll work. So we got the wood option on the inside. Oh, I didn't do the wood floor. Floor paint. Now we got the wood floor. So on this, like a lot of these trucks have been doing, I just put uh, uh, for the paint option. I've got wood sample. And if we had the high roof, we'd have the wood trim up here and in the back of the sleeper. Looks kind of cool. Wood steering wheel, wood shift knob, wood dash. The nice thing about this. I don't know, yeah, I, I don't know, uh, Zeke. Or, sorry, uh, Stabs, how that works. I really don't. You might have to, like, I don't know, change the chassis to something weird. Excuse me. Hey, the drop. I haven't seen you in a while. Hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm going to just uh, jump inside the cab. Have a look at the wood on the dash because I got the lighting is a little different. Just want to look at it from in here. Yeah, it looks good from in here in this light. It's a little washed out with the new lighting colors or the new, you know, I guess a brighter screen. All right. Yeah, they're fun to do. Yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, Gonna do it to drop my <laughs> the old rib is actually getting better already. It's not I'm not out of the woods yet, but I mean it's not agony or anything like that. Um doing fine in that regard. She wants me to turn around. I don't think I'm going to get a trailer or anything. Huh. Have a look at what's in the yard here. Flat deck curtain sides. Reefer. Step deck curtain side. Another reefer. See, now this is the reason on my old school skin I'm putting a 43 foot tanker in. See the darn tankers? They got a, uh, where it's supposed to be a single wheel in the back, they got a, they got a, a dual right there. It sticks out. Like, how crazy is that? What were they thinking? Kind of ruins it. You can go pull these in traffic, and what I was thinking I would do for this first trip is, uh, so there's a 53-foot flat deck curtain side. 
Step that curtain side, 53. The trucks. What do we got here? The one DI. Look at that. Oh, man, don't we have no W900s in the yard? Or is one up there? Chad. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's, um... Let's see what's in the job market where we could pull one of these Hell Creek things right out of the job market if we can. Start off like that, then we'll figure out what else we want to do. Hmm. Anything Garden City? Nothing. Let's look in general. I guess we gotta find the right kind of load. Oh, there's one. Buttermilk. Fresno to Oakdale. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to spend some time over here. Because we're going to lose this. South Lake Tahoe. Nothing. Levining. I want to grab a... Uh, maybe I'll just have to put on the... Uh, oh, Fresno to Oakdale. Oh, yeah, right. We saw that. Fresno to Nogales. It's going the wrong way. I want it to stay up in here. What about Susanville? Oh, I got the other mod in here too. There's a uh, um, King's Transport, King's uh, sorry, uh, King's County Truck Lines potatoes. That's a fifty foot hopper. 55,000 pound of potatoes. That's a cool one to get. But anyway, what we'll do, I'm going to go to Sonora. I think I got to put in Sonora CA. So, to get that, you know, travel. So we go, go to, there we go, Sonora CA. I might find it. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, oh, what happened there? Was the game crashing? Oh, no way, the game crashed. Didn't like that going to Sonora bit. <laughs> oh, oh, so sorry, you're you're late. <laughs> QRA, ah, uh, no worries. Haven't really started doing anything yet. Okay, let's get back in here. I hope it didn't uh, revert any changes in my truck. I have to look and see if I still have my uh, my uh, GPS. Maybe what I'll have to do is. I'll try a quick travel to a uh, SCS city and then fly over to Sonora. If it doesn't like me quick traveling there for some reason. Okay. Uh, GPS is gone. Oh, god darn it. I gotta go back over to the dealer here and get this thing sorted out. I'll do a quick save after I configure it. My seating position's all mirrors. Now the frame rates are a little jumpy. What's going on here? Okay. Oh, I know what else I wanted to do too. Shoot, so we got to go to engine. Everything there is okay. One click. I wanted to go with the old timey logo logos. Uh, change the stacks. Is 
to those. Uh, I think I left everyone else out here the same. Rack the arrow. Let's grab that GPS. Top left. And a CB. And nothing, nothing, nothing. We're all good. Firm order. Set the seats. Uh, kind of square behind the wheel. Drop that a notch. Mirrors. And that'll do a quick save. Is that already down? It is. Okay. Right. Let's see. Oh, mirrors are sort of saved, I guess. Where they were. Save. There we go. All right. So now uh, we'll look at the. Let's let's go garage travel. Let's try that instead. Garage manager map. And we'll pick an SES city like Sacramento. Travel to it. It's in the yard here. Oh, we got some, uh, we got a hopper bottom over there. Cool, some W900s. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is let's uh, get the map up on the screen here. About like that. We're gonna fly on over to Sonora instead of whatever made it crash. Now, that, uh, where is that Walmart? There's Sonora. There it is down there, I think. Nope, not there. Across here. Hmm. Sonora. No, I would have sworn that was it over there. There it is. All right. Land here and see if we can get one of our own trailers out of here. A Hell Creek trailer. Ah, there's none. Dang it. A waste of time. Well, anyway, so we could go. Oh, that just drives right out. That's boring. Boring, boring. Okay. Nothing, not, not going to work. Dustin, you know, people can put whatever language they want in here. I go by after and I uh, I uh, put it in translate. Dude, chill. Holy cow. People watch from all around the world and not everybody speaks English, so that's fine. I welcome it. Some of it I can even actually figure out a little bit, so... Okay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go trailer manager. I'm going to throw a trailer on. What do we got, lady? Sorry to sledding wire. Might as well put that on. Oh, actually, it's already on the dot. Let's just see what we got. Nora. Reno. Oh, we got... Oh, that's cool. We can do that. That's always a nice trip. India was the wrong way. Farmington, Holbrook, McAllister. No, we're going to take uh, the one to Reno. Awesome. The sliding tarp. That's cool. All right. So we got to put the trailer on. There we go. Okay, 
Let's see. There we go. Now, uh, we're not going to be able to park it there, obviously, so we'll have to wander around till they give us the uh, easy button. That's what I'll do. I'll just drive around. Drive around the back and come around this side. Oh, there we go. Got it right away. Sweet. I hope the stream's looking okay today. Uh, okay, get rid of that. And Frappe LaRue. That's hit the road in French. Oh man, that's a big curb right there. Wow, has a big collision zone around it, I guess. Yards, turn right. 56, 56,000 pounds. And we roll on the stop sign. Cool, thanks for your beard. Yeah, I gotta thank you, Freebeard, for pointing out how to get that uh, draw modding cargo visible. They decouple after you load. That was a good tip. Hey, Kenneth. How are you doing? Good to see you on. <laughs> Frappy. Yeah. Frappy LaRue. Let's see if I can... Oh, that light is green up there. Darn, it's going to get... Oh, it's red. Okay. We, wanna, uh, we don't want to have to come to a stop on this hill. Yeah, that's a really neat trailer. I got to... Uh, I got to put more uh, drone modding stuff in the videos. Oh, look, there's Kings County. Trucking. Cool. I'm gonna wring the neck off of this thing to try and get... If I can get by one of these guys, at least. Oh, I'm not gonna get this dude. He's got... I have to get the signal on so I can get tucked in here. Oh, they're slowing down. This lane ends real soon. Okay, I'll have to lean on one of these guys. I wonder if I can get this Crown Vic to let me in here. I'll just kind of show them the, the trailer. There we go. Nice. Now we gotta do is pass this guy. Oh, cool, Kenneth. That's awesome. I hope it's one you were really looking for. Now that Kings County step deck coming the other way. Guy sees the police and hits the brakes. <laughs> Knee jerk reaction. I don't like getting too close to them, but there's a uh, a very brief four lane stretch up ahead, and I gotta plan it right. If I do, I should be able to. If I can get a run on them, I think after we get by here, the fuel stop up here. If I can just slow down a little bit here. Now start building some speed. I might get it right. Or am I too soon? I think I'm speeding up too soon. Shoot. Okay. Oh, there it is. It's coming up. I gotta get on the throttle. 
Because he's probably going to hit the brakes. Oh, there's a car right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a car. Shoot. Wow, we just made it through there. Woohoo. Awesome. <laughs> that was... That was sketchy. No damage. Everything's good. What's our cargo anyway? Flour. Oh, good. Yeah, we didn't didn't break any eggs. Oh darn! I let that guy get around me. Dangerous Dan McGrew. That's me. This guy too. Uh oh, not getting any gear. Oh, don't. Oh, there it goes. Sorry, my uh, brain shifter was acting up again. Excuse me, coming through. Yeah, no doubt. That was quite a maneuver. It's amazing what little space you can fit one of these things through. Uh-oh, no rain. No, no, Scott. Oh wow, Greenkeeper, cool. That's awesome. <coughs> Excuse me, right into the mic, my bad. My brother used to, my middle brother used to work at a golf course. He did uh, fairways and bunkers. Boy, I get a lot of st uh, stuttering here. Frame rates are good, but the stuttering is terrible. Frame rates show 80, but a lot of stuttering. <clears throat> Wet snow and sleet. Yeah. Boy, speaking of wet, snow, and sleet, boy, I'm really bummed out about the weather here. It's gonna cost me three or four hundred dollars next week. I got my uh, caddy in the entered in the world of wheels, and being the beginning of April, I was planning on being able to drive it down, but our spring is so bad here. You got more snow coming and crap and there's still like a foot of snow on the ground and it's next Thursday is move-in day and it's going to get real warm next week and it's just going to be a mess. So I'm going to have to truck the thing so that's expensive. That's a real drag. Really bummed about it.
Eeyore. Yeah. Hope you guys are all putting miles on today. For the VTC. Okay, I'm gonna have to get in here soon. There's a corner coming up I don't want to make a mess of. See, the stream seems a little stuttery. That's too bad. There's the corner up there. Okay, time to jump in. Oh, it's smoother in here. Yeah, I don't know. I would be down there for, well, four days. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Well, we got to get out of there on Sunday night. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how that all play out. What if we can take a chance and... I don't see anybody coming yet. Oh, looks good so far. He'll stop here because he's... Uh-oh. Missed a gear. Uh-oh. Yeah, I gotta get a hold of uh, the guy I used last time. Last time the World of Wheels was here... Or, sorry. The last time I entered my car in the World of Wheels was five years ago. And it was in February, so I trucked it down. Not gonna take it in the middle of winter. East Indio and the Lovkin. Oh, wow, that's a nice long one. Okay, here we go, boys. Downhill. <clears throat> oh, I should have asked, does the mic sound okay? I just figured out there's a gain knob on here. I can turn up and down, but I don't know. Wherever it is, is where it is, so... I got some tearing going on here. Oh, you know what? I got something that I got to change in my settings. I shouldn't have screen tearing. Uh, let's get around this corner. Go into the settings for a sec. What do I have turned off that's... 
anti-aliasing or something. Vertical synchronization. Do you have vert vertical sync on or off a snowy moon? I think it's supposed to be off, isn't it? Well, I'll try enabling it, see what happens. It might be worse. Uh, let's see what happened. That screen tearing is a bit of a bummer. Oh, that's better. Oh, yeah. Much better. I wonder what it's like from out here. Oh, it's much smoother. Wow, I was putting you guys through all that. The frame rates dropped a little bit, but the uh, picture's better. Yeah, thanks, Spink, for confirming that. Hey, there goes... Oh, that was Flatbed Brothers. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I know, Scott. <laughs> no, not about turning it on. Uh, it's just the Flatbed Brothers went by. I think there's something I'm supposed to do about Flatbed Brothers. Can't quite remember what it is. Boy, it looks good now. Awesome. Hopefully that fixed the stream up. <clears throat> Excuse me, I keep... Uh... <laughs> he playing the scorpions. Right on. Does the stream look okay? Is it like smooth or is it all jerky? Yeah, for 60 FPS seems to be pretty good. Sometimes I turn the uh, lock off on the frames just to see what I can push this uh, thing to. Before I updated the motherboard and CPU, I would just leave it on uh, 60 all the time. And then after the update, I've been every now and then I'll just want to see what it'll do. But it's locked on 60 right now. But Pixley, oh, that's a bummer. Dang, I wonder if I should change something in my stream settings. Smooth but Pixley. Hmm. Should maybe do some live experimenting with you guys. Can you change settings on your stream settings midstream? <laughs> Could be Zeke. Remember that movie? I can't remember. Uh, well, what the heck was that movie? It was... Uh, oh, I thought that these guys are also... Okay, now he's going to stop.
Nice road. Seven twenty. Oh, that's pretty low. Might want to try ten eighty as a minimum or something. Hey, Cody. Well, where are you in Canada? Well, how's it look at 1440, Spig? Blurry. Oh, shoot. What happens if I hop in here? Is any better? It doesn't have to draw as much scenery. I don't think I you know can, can a guy change uh, New Brunswick oh cool well we've got somebody else Mark Mitchell Brown is from New Brunswick he's in our uh, convoy group I'm from Calgary Alberta we got dust in there uh, he's in Smith Falls Ontario the one DI is in Lethbridge Cam Rettorino, if he shows up, he's in uh, Edmonton. Zeke's in BC. Wow. We're representing. So, scary to you. Good for me. Okay, so I'm not gonna. Don't change anything. Oh darn, we're on the uh, inside for this corner up here. Shoot. Oh, 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 I can get the outside here. Ah, darn it, that guy got in it. I don't like being on the inside of this corner. Probably dragging our trailer tires on the curb there. We got a Belleville, Ontario. Awesome. That's a nice area down there. I had a buddy who lived uh, in Belleville. He was east of town a little bit, just on the... Well, he's at the east end of Belleville, and then he moved to... Uh, bought a old farm After outside of town, right. further east. I used to go down to the racetrack at Shannonville all the time to watch the bike races right. when I lived uh, between Ottawa and Montreal. That's a long time ago. <laughs> I was young, a uh, youngster. Cat three and a quarter. Nice. Looks much better now. Oh, okay, cool. Huh. Well, I changed my, uh, put on my aunt, my, uh, aunt, it was an anti-aliasing was turned off. I put it back on, it should be better. Rossmer. Is that New Brunswick, Zeke? Looks like there's a screen in front of my iPad. Hmm. iPad should usually have a pretty good 
pretty good picture. Uh oh, gotta watch my speed here. I'll get in trouble with the uh, speed limit. There, what a uh, the cattle hauler, Kings County cattle hauler in the other lane there. That's cool. Cross the, oh, I see, cross the bill from, uh, or bridge from Belleville. Boy, I really like that area around there. I like that little town of Picton. My wife and I went back east when, uh, just, a, you know, a long time ago. Actually, it was before we were married. We flew down there and had a tour around the old stomping grounds and we drove down to Picton and... Jeez. Went through Belleville, went and saw my buddy Pete down there and... Um, went all over. And uh, that Picton was a... Okay, is that the name? Is it Picton County? Or is that the name of the town too? It's Picton County. Oh, it's a little town. Was it Picton? Anyway, cute little place, that's for sure. Being good till this stream. Oh, man. Didn't you check your video settings? The uh, uh, video quality? It's like Spig saying, it defaults sometimes to real low quality. And you got to check the wheel cog, the little gear, and then go quality. Oh, that's a late notice. We're going to have to get m medieval on that guy. Picton, okay. That's wine country? Wow. I know they used to make... They used to make wine down in... Um, the other side of Toronto, Niagara area. Huh. Well, wonders never cease. Well, we're going to the BNSF. We were here last night in convoy. I think. Pretty sure. Mustang was turning. What's he doing? He's just going slow. Oh boy, it pissed her with underglow. How uh, did that work? Did it get kind of stuttery or was it all right? Good little trip. After 100 yards, turn right. The new Freightliner. So, wait a minute. You mean the uh, Junior Cascadia thing, or? Turn right. Oh, did I miss my turn? I did. I just went right by it, watching the screen. <laughs> See if we can turn around here. Nobody coming. After 100 yards, turn left. Turn left. 
I heard the ventilation of my graphics card. <laughs> oh, I miss again. Gotta quit reading the stream. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I guess he heard the uh, graphics card pick up. The new Coronado was released today. Oh, I see. Okay. Nice working truck, yeah. Huh. Well, I guess I'm going to have to get it and do a drive with it. Okay, where do you need it? Down at the end. Yeah, Freebeard, you got the drop on me. You can get a, a video out before I do on it for sure because uh, Monday's cab over Monday, so... And tomorrow's video is already in the can, so... I'm not going to have a chance to make another video for tomorrow morning, so... Have at her. Grab it and do a video. I'll check it out before I buy it. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> I'll watch your video for the review. <laughs> Laps in the yard don't count. Oh, dang. Well, that went okay. So, what we gotta do is figure out what to do next. I love this truck. Uh, we could do something else. We could... Let's see. What should we do? What else do I have in this profile? Just Dom's and... Oh, a 359. Oh, yeah. That's a private mod one. Okay, cool. I'll check it out. Uh, let's see. What should we do? Hmm, I think of what truck we haven't driven in a while. Huh. I want to do something more in this area, though. Uh, did it do? Let's see. What should we do? Let's see. Truck manager. What other? Oh, I know what I could do. Maybe we should do a day cab. What's a scoop on this one? It's got the bump in the roof. We could do... Uh, oh, I got an idea. Jeez, I should... Oh. How about... Something totally wild. Let's see, we should change profiles. Okay, um... Let's see what one am I going to use? Got to find one that has a tri drive truck. Need something with a tri axle drive. So it's. I know the Ruta one's got tri drives. Ruta 389, 379, W900. We've got. Um, what are the ones I'm missing? Vipers. Uh. Could jump on a Viper profile. Let's see. Oh, how is my Viper profile? I haven't even been in it in a while. Check, make sure it's healthy. Make sure it's, if it doesn't have reform in it, I won't use it because I want to... Oh, yeah, we got Reforma. Looks like it's all together. Oh, I got the tra trailer in here. Sweet. Okay. It's all together and good. All right. Viper it is. I got something to show you guys. Uh, let's go to continue the game. See what we're driving here. Oh, 
Oh, shoot, that's where this truck is. <laughs> oh, it's in this profile. This is the one I'm driving in tomorrow's video. Call darn it, there's a sneak preview. So some logging. And what happened is I got this uh, logging trailer from... Uh, I can't configure it because it's on the truck. But what I could do... What I want to do, I noticed trailer purchase... Let's see if we can go to my fleet configurations. Ah, it doesn't show up in fleet. What about here? Do I have a fleet for that? Yeah, well, that's it right there. Okay. So this trailer from Brian Modding, I really love it. And, oh man, it's even got drop axles. I didn't even know that. I just went and... Dragged it up the hill at uh, Bellingham and took a load out for tomorrow's video. But check this out. They, he's got... Wait a minute. Yeah, look at this. A triple. Oh my god. That's wild. So we got to do this and they're going to get me a heavy haul Viper to pull it. Because it's going to be really heavy. But I can... I got my hopped up Viper with the... Uh, it's actually an 8x8. Eight eight. That'll pull this because you get a lot of weight on this. But let's do a quick and dirty wheel uh, upgrade. We're just going to put Smarties 22.5s on here. And it just won't take too long. Oops. Right there. We'll just go on down here and... Massive trailers, right? Yeah. Well, I didn't even, you know, because I wanted uh, something different for B-Double. Well, actually, I bought the trailer a while ago. I'm not even sure. I may have already put it in a video. I don't know. But um, I... Uh, oh, wait a minute. I, I will. That's good. I bet you we can get a third axle on the back if we wanted to. No, maybe not. No, okay, we'll go with that. We don't need it actually because it's such a short trailer. It would look, it would be kind of overkill. So, and we will be ready to go here in a minute. There's a whole ton of options on this trailer I'm not going to go through. That would be another case for Freebeard to do a, 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 a walkthrough video, a build and drive thing. But yeah, you got to uh, show you, like, there's nodes all over it. And I think all I want to do is there's one down around here, some place that'll give me some, oh, the support chassis. I want that deck. That should be the same on all of them, or that one change. Yeah, it looks like it changed. This one's still stock. Okay. What about the... Oh, it makes sense that that changed. Where's the light one? Light. I just want the default lights, I think. Which one is what? Oh, darn it. Turn the lights on, see if I can... Yeah, that is what I want. That'll work. Yeah, I was thinking, yeah, you could make one free beard and... Show the folks what it's about if you have it. If you don't have it, then I could do one, I guess. I just, I've been so flat out with all the skinning and stuff. I, I've got so many tutorials outstanding that I need to make. Oh, where's our, um, something missing here? See, everything's called support. I don't get that. So, anyway, down here supports our pressure gauge. For the air suspension. Okay. Oh yeah, Arnux. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'll do this, and then we'll get our. I will do an Arnux. Oh, that's a great idea, Spig. Okay, so let's purchase this thing, and we'll put it um, somewhere. Oh, I don't want to do the same trip I just did. I think if we went to Eugene. Somewhere around here, there's logging around here. Put it, put it in Eugene. And we're going to get a Viper here. Uh, truck manager. 
And do I have a Viper set up as a logger already? I got uh, some heavy haul ones set up. Doesn't look like I have a logger ready to go. So we could take this thing and make it a logging truck. Oh my god. Oh, you know what? I had parts in it from the... Um, I had the hater built in here and I had them both in the same profile for a bit. Okay, we'll go there. We'll go to the cab. We're going to go to... Can we go day cab? Oh, we can't. Oh, you can't change the dang cabs on this. It's one of those stupid things. Okay, I uh, don't want to do that. Hey, Matt, how you doing? Uh, trying to do get set up for some logging here. Do I have one of these with a short wheelbase or a day cab? Oh, darn it. Nothing. Well, that is a bummer. Shoot. Um, what about... I wonder if we can do a... I don't think this works either. If we went to truck dealer... Oh, you know what we could do. See, there's a Viper in the used truck market. Oh, yeah, three, uh, 351. No. Truck dealers. Odd. Peterbilt. Go here. Oh no, it's something I want back. Fleet. Okay, grab one of these and change it. I wonder. Only got the four. I don't think I can change it here either. Let's go. See if we can change the cab. No, you can't. Oh, bummer. Well, we're going to pick this one. We'll fix it up. And uh, let's... Uh, Put uh, the logging company skin on it and get some kind of bumper that looks right for logging. This is where I like the hater belt. It's got the better uh, heavy duty bumpers for this kind of thing. I guess we better go with that one. At least it's got the cut corners on it. Uh, okay, we won't take too much time at this because it's all about driving, right? Uh, and the chassis. Yeah, we got four driven axles, so we'll be able to handle whatever that trailer throws at us. So, uh, don't know if there's any point in putting a logging rack on it. Look kind of stupid, doesn't it? On a, I mean, look at that. Just looks all wrong on this sleeper. Shoot. Oh, oh whatever. We'll leave it. Let's see what we got for an engine. We're gonna need a lot. Four or five horsepower is not gonna cut it. What do we got in here? Got uh, 805, 444. I think we're going to need a little more grunt. Oh boy, I don't have a whole lot of engine options in here. What about that? There's that one that comes with it. No, that one just disappears from between the frame rails. These things, no. Okay, where's that cat? 740 or something. Like, we don't want to use that. We want to get the frame, the engine showing between the frame rails here. 
That was... That was a 740 or you could get... 840. There, we got an engine. That should work. Okay, transmission. We're going to need some... Ooh, a <laughs> speed. Nope. Get down here. We get like a 370 gear. 370 right there. Okay. And take a quick peek inside. Interior. That'll work. All right. Good. Purchase. Where do we put that trailer? It was in... Eugene. All right. Driver manager. Gonna grab our dude. Relocate him to Eugene. Come in there. Driver manager. They call it a B train. That's kind of funny. Uh, oh, you know what? Configure. Throw it on the truck. We'll get the color right. That'll work. Good enough. Oh, the day cap would work, but you have to build it from scratch. And so with the Viper, you can't just go and change the cab. Uh, for some reason, there's other trucks like that, too. I wish I had different wheels and tires on it for this, but we don't. So, like, the day cap works fine if you just build it with the day cab. Oh, I should have done the... Oh, wait a minute. I better not do that. That's a bad idea. We'll go into the side yard and put the trailer on. Kind of a big truck for pulling a real big trailer. But I don't mind this engine. What's the fuel situation? <laughs> I also, I guess on this one, I've modified the fuel tanks. My range shows 5,000 miles. <laughs> so I did the chassis and the fuel on this one. Oh, I guess we're not using the trailer yet. I thought I said I was going to use it. There we go. Okay, it's attached it. I was wondering why it wasn't attached. Oh yeah, there we go. We got a, little, a logging trailer. Okay, let's find a logging run. Oh, wait a minute. Time of day. Get that sorted. Oh, did I already pass it five times? Here, we'll use this one. I'll just backspace and make it a six. And go to the job market. Bend to... Oh, so, yeah, we... Oh, look at They want us to take it up the mountain? Oh, ho, ho. yeah, I'm in. Here's another one. Bend to Bellingham, up the mountain. God darn it, it's 485 miles. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that, and then we'll do some Arnook's uh, container stuff. Where if I can get one closer to home? I guess not. That went up there. Oh, that's going to be kind of cool, pulling it up the mountain. I don't know why we'd do that, but... Is there a... Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Bend to Bellingham. Up the mountain. It's urgent. Newport, Medford. Yeah, well, we want to do that. We want to do the challenge of taking that up there. Oh, it's still just 110,000. It's still, that's a lot of weight to pull up that road. Sweet. That's going to be fun. And do they both pick up at the same place? No, they're two different. Oh, that's a different. Okay, we only got the one. All right. So this GPS destination. No, uh, Scott, this is uh, from uh, Brian Modmaker. 
Yeah, look at the colors. It's all messed up because of uh, something goofy going on with um, my snowy moon. Shoot. Under light, it's fine. So, anyway, let's uh, get the map going here so we can see where we're flying to. A lot of weight. Yeah, so... Uh, spoiler alert, I drive this tra trailer in tomorrow's B-double Sunday as a, as a B-double. It's a little tricky to back up, but uh, I managed. And uh, it was 110,000. Oh, where the heck are we? Is this make any sense? We're taking it from a factory... Like th this load is in reverse. <laughs> Tell you the truth, we should be going from all this uh, grayness. This is all going to sort itself out when the uh, when the daylight comes up here when we load it. Forty. Hey, how you doing, bud? Oh, the old rib is uh, well. It's still broken. <laughs> it's not feeling as bad by a long shot. I'm actually feeling pretty good. Oh, shoot the mirrors. That spot mirror is all out of whack. We're going to have to change that. We're going to need that thing. On the mountain. Oh, jeez. Oh. Well, that's a long and winding road. Turn left. Let me get in here. You have reached your destination. Oh, is our job already laid out somewhere for us? Must be be in the back. Better go under here to get herself some room for in the yard. Probably gonna be in the back corner. Oh no, I don't see it. Don't tell me the trigger showed up now. Yet now the trigger shows up. Uh, I got it. Okay, does that. Okay. Yeah, it's it's done this before on me a few times where you drive by the thing and then it shows up after you've gone by. Round two. Oh, got the parking brake on. Yeah, that's a good engine choice for this truck. I like it. Plus, it should have enough power to move the load. Uh oh, we got AI traffic coming our way. This hole right there. Oh, if he gets all in a hissy fit over that end trailer, no, he's good. Here we go. Take this job and towed it. Okay, now the flag. Now it's going to be in the back somewhere. Chances of us being able to get on it are slim to none, but. And I really hope that uh, it doesn't. Uh, you know, once we do the easy park, if they give us that. <laughs> It doesn't uh, have the trailer hanging over something that makes it impossible to, or when it loads, 
We started doing the funky chicken all over the parking lot here. Oh, that's the load order on the 389. Yeah, the 389, uh, you got to get that load order is really pernickety. Um, in his description, like what he gives you is the load order. He also gives you an image of what the mod files look like, which is misleading. Because one is a load order and is one is the files as they would appear in your folder. So you don't want that one. You want the load order one. Try and try and get that load order as the uh, photo shows. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, the loaders. I didn't know that one. Oh, hey, this is a different log load than I have in tomorrow's video. Cool. We are loaded. It's fly, bullseye. Too bad the uh, light didn't come up. So has anybody been on uh, the north to Alaska, those logging sites up around um, like Anchor Point or wherever it is? And you go to the one plant like this when we were just leaving and they got the big Pacific logging trucks out front. Man, would it be cool to have those in the game. Yeah, so try that try that load order thing, Bordy. There's something wrong with the load order. In the in the mod manager. Actually, you know what I could do? What I could do here, uh here, Bordy, if you want, I'll just stop real quick. I'll uh they're gonna do a quick save. I'm going to go to the Peterbilt, my Ruta profile, and I'll show you the Lord order real quick. Maybe you can take a photo of it or something. Let's do that. How to help a fella out. Uh, so go to my Ruta profile. And go into Mod Manager here. Okay, so... Here it is, 389, here we go. So if you can get a photo of that, I don't know if you can. Let me know if you can get a photo of that, and then I won't need to explain it. Or if you need it, if you can't see it clearly, I'll describe it. Uh, is that all right? Hopefully, uh, this works. Took photo, thanks. Okay, cool. Yeah, try that. See how that works. I'll get back to where we were. Okay. Come on, baby. You can load. Oh, gotta drive before I start it. Ah, this might 
Pays nine thousand bucks. Be interesting to go over a scale. Good chance we'll get one before we uh, get where we're going. After 100 yards, turn left. Oh yeah, the f oh shoot, yeah yeah. Can you explain the drop where you where you put yours? I think we've been putting them below his trucks, but you could. Uh, Make sure Bordy gets those in the right place. Oh, that's a bummer. So where did you put your wheels and uh, flare packs? Okay, this feels heavier than the 110. I think that's why I need to hit a scale with this thing. The trailer is really heavy duty, so I imagine the trailer is pretty heavy. I'm going to say that trailer weighs like 45,000 pounds, kind of minimum. Truck weighs 22, 67,000. So it should be about 177,000 pounds. And if it's more than that, it's going to be 55,000 pounds more. So we'll find out. Yeah, this is pulling like we're, let's see, 220,000 pounds maybe? sunshine man we need the sun to come up here hey, hey Chris how you doing buddy It's going to be something getting this up that mountain. We got a challenge in front of us. Yeah, moonshine trucking. I might have screwed up on the time of day thing. I got 370 gears and I can't get out of 16th gear. Oh boy. Is this really as steep as a sharp? Is there indicating or not? No, it's fine. Yeah, I wanted to use the. Uh, oh boy. This is the 840 horsepower motor option that comes with it. 
and uh, it's supposed to have 3,000 foot-pounds of torque, which is, should be plenty. It's just, I'm, I'm pretty sure that we got more, just, <laughs> just like Brian Modding says, he's calling this a B train, when it's actually, what is that, a C? It's got three trailers, a triple? Uh, can't remember. Anyway, uh, it's like he forgot to add the, uh, extra 55,000 to the load because his B train is 110,000 loaded or it gets 110,000 pound load Hey, Matt, uh, seen you've been putting a bunch of miles on. Good job, man. Her uh, Spig's driving us all hard <laughs> to get the miles. We're, we're, our VT PCT is 11th in the world. Wow. Pretty amazing. I think last month we were 18th. Correct me if I'm wrong, Spig, but... Oh, wait a minute. You're driving. You need to get text uh, or speech to text. <laughs> for the chat. That would be handy. Nineteenth last month. Oh my. Yeah, that's a big improvement. 11th. Yeah, the boys have been putting on the miles. Nice. What have you been doing mostly, Matt? Like, what, what's, what's your go-to truck? And uh, any particular one, or are you just mixing it up? <laughs> the drill sergeant. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I thought uh, the DI, I thought the, the DI was for drill instructor. <laughs> but our, uh, that's spec. Yeah, that's right. George and uh, it's been putting in the miles. Oh, hey, Spig, what happened? Uh, like Chad was saying, those other fellas in 10th or 11th were, or 12th, I guess, that we bumped into 12th were in Europe. They're going to be putting the miles on overnight last night, did they? Spig knows. I think we got, uh, is it 19 or 27? I can't remember. I forget. Spig will, or somebody will put the details up. Spig's driving right now, trying to put the miles in. They didn't do anything overnight. Oh my God. They're having a strike. Driver's strike over there. Well, I guess we're going to cement 11th place for the uh, month, and that's cool. 29. There you go, John. You're welcome to join. All you got to do is sign up with Trucks Book, and then search out Hell Creek Trucking, and apply. SCSW 900. I love that SCSW 900. That's such a good mod. Like, do you use the full dash mod? That's what all I add to it. 
put that in it and it's it was such a good truck. I mean, even without it. Oh, we have seven members that haven't run any miles, so my god. So it's 22 of us making miles. Chadwick is drill sergeant. <laughs> it's Captain Spiganator. <laughs> Right on. Ah, Captain, I can't go no faster. Four K a day. <laughs> of course, that would work. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, EJ, how you doing? Yeah, four K a day is tons, man. That would really help. The guys ahead of us, though, are like a million miles ahead of us, but it's the end of the month, and it all resets on the first, and that's when it starts counting again. Yeah, if you use trucks, book, the only thing, John, is we can't go over 70... Well, we got... Uh, you don't want to be going over 80 miles an hour or you lose your miles on your trip. They don't count. So you got to keep it under 80. If that's a, a problem. That would be a bummer. Yeah, there's no way this is 110,000 pound load. It's heavy. And the weight of the extra trailer. God, I wish we'd hit a scale. Still a long way to go. There's a good chance I'm going to hit one when we get to Washington. Oh, you don't go over 70? Oh, you're perfect for the job. You're hired. Just put in your application, man. You're, you're, you're in, like... In like Flint. Oh, I've got to stay right up here. Try not to upset this apple cart. A trucks book and the uh, VTC is Hell Creek Trucking. Yeah, under ATS, uh, there's it's gonna have ETS and ATS.
Yeah, I haven't driven one of those pickup trucks in a while. I, uh, should do that again. I like Mason's Mod Shops, F450. John, with our uh, VTC, there's no dispatch or anything. You just drive your own. It's like you're your own owner operator doing your own jobs. And the mileage all just goes in the same pool. So we don't, like some VTCs are all about, well, they're a little bossy if you ask me. <clears throat> it's nice to be able to run what you want to run, when you want to run it, where you want to run it. <coughs> Excuse me. Just gonna mute the mic for a sec, get a little drink of water here. I watch driving with my right hand. So I very rarely ever do get my right hand on the steering wheel. Not all by itself, anyway. <laughs> yeah, some of those VTCs can be like... It's almost like a little dictatorship you're signed up for. And, uh, it's like playing, uh, you know... So, you want to play Gestapo, nine? <laughs> Oh, NASCAR. Well, I know which one's more exciting, that's for sure. <laughs> we can be interesting to see what kind of fuel mileage we're getting with this 370 gear. Yeah, Hell Creek Tracking is a lot of fun. Like, I mean, you know, it's just, it's nothing different than just doing your regular everyday thing, but it's going towards, you know, getting our Hell Creek VTC out there, the name and everything. And <laughs> I like the same. Well, we're going to be going around some uh, testing the cornering limits here fairly soon, but it's going to be uh, an uphill slog. God, where's the weigh scale when you want one? Well, there's Olympia, that's Washington. Should have passed a way scale by now. Got this puppy wound up. 1700 RPM. Both go fast, yeah. Gotta look ahead on the map a little bit. Out of boy Zeke. Yeah, we're unassailable on 11th. 
Now, for sure. Oh, here we go, yikes. That's the corner. Hang on to her. Hey, Cam, how you doing? Brownsville to Vernon. Oh my god. Oh, it's a tight one. For the weight, anyway. Yikes. Woohoo. There's your NASCAR, John. <laughs> hey, Zeke. See you in a bit. Oh, boy. Reloading your save. Yikes. Oh, I hope it keeps uh, gets steadier for you. Yeah, we're looking good in uh, 11th place, as you say, in camp. So, yeah, thanks for your contribution, too. Oh, yay, we got a scale. So, let's see. What are they saying? 172 or 227, something like that. See if we guessed anywhere near close. Yeah, that was NASCAR, all right, boy. The uh, and I I got weight added to the chassis. You'll see where we need it. Where we're gonna climb up that dirt road at Bellingham, like what I did to this truck to make it handle it. Oh yeah, added weight to the truck. Shoot, it doesn't weight 22. It weighs me like 32. We could be 230,000 pounds here. 260! Oh my god! No wonder it's so freaking slow. We're gonna take 260,000 pounds up the mountain of Bellingham. Oh my freaking... Get the popcorn out. Get your favorite soda. Or your favorite uh, sarsaparilla, whatever. This is gonna be interesting. Wow, the biggest load I've ever pulled up there was the uh, log stacker with grapple. Or log loader, whichever one. I think it's the log stack. No, the log loader with grapple. Holy. Yeah, that's really heavy. I'm not surprised because I think I added. Maybe I added more than 10,000 pounds to the chassis of the truck. So I made this, this is the Viper that I have on my uh, Discord. And this Viper, <laughs> Matt's all ready to go. <laughs> I, uh, oops, kind of choked that dude off back there. I, uh, I uh, made it an eight by eight and I added some weight to the drivers and to the front axle so it would steer. And uh, it's for extreme heavy haul, so we're going to see if it's up to the task. Because we're going to be going uphill on that dirt. And there's the hairpins and all kinds of stuff. Couldn't be really exciting. That guy keeps trying to pass me on the left here and then chickening out. I didn't get anywhere near him that time. Let's see. Oh, now I'm going faster in the speed limit, so. to check the frames this thing's getting. Oh, why is my frame rate's not showing up? Oh, that's weird. Oh, my stream deck's not hung up. Here comes the daylight. 
start to get some color back in our life here. Tell you, this thing doesn't handle super good, but it's not terrible. Oh, the real company mod. Yeah. Man, this old girl's going to be ready for an oil change. <laughs> it gets back to the shop. testing the molecular chain stability of this uh, oil. Oh, here's another way scale. Oh, we can bypass. Okay, good. Save a stop and again. On this Viper, I kind of like the original dash too, or the 389 dash in it uh, yeah I like the blue gauge back background option okay here we go oh. let's get this thing rolled up So gotta get this thing turned into that uh, logging road. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah, it gets confusing with the real place names when you don't have it across the board and you get used to one or then you introduce the other and all of a sudden it's like wait a minute can't find that place or you look on the map and it's got the uh, real name and you're looking for the fake name or the you know the sorry it's got the SCS name and you're looking for the real name that uh, can be a bummer Gotta keep our eye peeled for this uh, left-hand turn. Kind of sneaks up on you. Hopefully it's marked on the map. It should be. There's something off to the right. Huh. Where have I ever gone down that road? Yards, turn left. Oh, it's the main road, and this is the road. Okay, this is it. It's marked on the map. Yeah, no worries. That was goofy.
UPS. Go get them. Well, here we go. Can we do it? 22 pounds, 22 tons of nuts. <laughs> Sounds like our whole VTC is riding on your back. And then we got outside to look at the truck because it was so dark. I like this uh, paint job. Boy, it's going fast here, but... Uh, without... Um, oh. The... Um, Chassis mods. So I first try to take a log loader up here. Uh, I'll show you how far I got with the stock truck. Of course, that's SCS triple low boy and 120 something thousand pounds. I got past here. I made it to where the grass starts on the road. Yeah, I'm the little engine that could. Hey, <laughs> Scott. <laughs> We're driving the absolute bag off this thing. Gonna get real interesting soon here. Was it just... Gonna get down in the speed and gears here where I got some power. I don't have to ship off, shift on the hill here. Try and leave ourselves a range split in hand here. Make sure we're in high split. So we need to, we can drag it back without using the, moving the stick. There's it, oh boy, come on. Don't make me have to shift. Oh, no. Oh, that's it. Okay, so... Gonna do a parking brake start in low, low. Okay, good. I'll try another start here. All right, come on. Oh yeah, the diff lock. What am I thinking? Well, it's going to be a big tire, Bill. Let's try first gear. It's not going to work. 
Back to low. Yoo-hoo! Beat the snot out of the truck, but... Hopefully that's the worst of it. <laughs> yeah, I had the tires of the oil change. No doubt. But now we got the diff lock in, we'll just leave it in. Ignore the warning that's going to come up. Well, there's a couple more corners are gonna be dicey but I think that one has more bumps on it which makes it uh, tough so <laughs> hey rich <laughs> oh man you didn't have to get out and push <laughs> but thanks for the effort Absolutely flogging this poor thing. Okay, here comes the next hairpin. Oh, shoot. We're already going slow. This one's pretty flat. All right, we're gonna have to go down a gear here for this one. Full gear. Oh, that's gonna be half a gear. I had to split already and just wind it around here. Come on, baby. Go, go, go. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. This is the last of it, old girl. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Yeah. All right. Woohoo. I'd say we're going to make it. Wow, that's awesome. 260,000 pounds up Bellingham Mountain. Woo-wee. Definitely try this at home, kids. Oh, it's going to make tomorrow's video is going to look like, oh, um. 
<laughs> oh boy. Yeah, definitely uh, time to put the whole thing up on the block. I could just stay here in this slow range for this last little bit. Come on, get, come on, oh no. And now we're gonna have another stop on the hill. How brilliant is that? Yikes. Well, where should we place it? Straight ahead. All right, we're gonna go a little low again. Uh, trailer brake start. Pretty scenic up here on top of the mountain. Wow, I can't believe that. That that was very cool. Hey, thanks, Matt. That's a great kitty cat. Yes, sir. So the thing I like about when you get the, the right engine in with the Viper, you get the engine shows between the frame rails. You put a mod engine in, it doesn't. That's kind of annoying having no, no engine. God, that was a... F Freaking cool thing. That was... I gotta say it. That was extremely satisfying. Cool. All right. Yeah, so that's the... Uh, this paint job's up on Steam. It's for the uh, Hell Creek logging. And I got it... It's there for Pistors 389 as well. And maybe some others. I can't remember. I thought I did three of them. So... Yeah... Cool looking truck. I, lo I love the old Viper. It's just... Yeah, like I say, so this version of the Viper with the chassis mod is on my Discord. There's a whole channel. Uh, yeah, I wonder what you're saying, Scott. You starve a break now. Oh, man. Deserve a break. There you go. So, uh, now what we got to do is... Spig had a great idea. Something with our nukes. Our nukes. So, I got an idea, I think. Let me... Um, Go back and check my router profile. <laughs> well, I got so oh geez, I'm getting low on water too. Uh yeah, I want to leave this profile. And I want to go back to my router profile because I think I have some Arnuke stuff in there. And let's have a look. Oh boy. Oh, that's good, man. We got some good stuff done today so far. So, our Nook's container pack, yep. And I think I got that Ophi thing in here, too. Now, that Ophi trailer and our Nook's, do they play together? Uh, where's the Ophi? Got that big Ophi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I thought the Viper stopped getting... Yeah, well, Ryan, what I did is when they were messing with it, some guys got a hold of it, and they are really making a mess of it on Steam. Well, just before that happened, I took a copy of the Viper off of Steam, and I just made it a personal mod, so it's not getting updates or whatever. So if I look at the truck... Oh, here, hang on, I'll show you. So let's go back there.
Oh, no, I could stay in there. Here, all I got to do is, hold on, let's get my keyboard, and I'll show you what happens when you do that. If you can take a, uh, a truck out of, see, if it's in Steam, it's going to have that Steam symbol. So, I'm not sure I still have the Steam Viper. So, see right here, modified. So, this is what you see when you go and get it in Steam. But look, there's no little blue icon. Because I took it out of Steam. And that's one version. And here's another version. So, about one of them. I can't remember which one. I think it's this one... Yeah, so this one right here, see it says Viper 379 Edit by Goggles56. Pretty sure I got a link to that one on my Discord. And that's not even the one I'm using. Oh yeah, right, that's the one I was using in the other profile, right? Because I'm in the Ruta thing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So you can take a mod out of Steam if you want. And... Um, save it is you know that's kind of what i think i did there because they made a mess of it and so this version i keep on here is is nice the glass is good you can see out the windshield when the sun's coming down and that's one thing i don't like about the hater built is the glass is terrible in it but i like the options for heavy haul and the big winch rack and heavy duty bumpers and all those things <clears throat> So what we're looking for here, a truck should be in Houston, the one I want. Oh, it's a McAllen. Oh, that's not the one. Oh. Well, we kind of want... Well, that's got a tandem. I want a tandem. Let's see what goes on here with the paint. No, uh, I won't work on that cab. I like that 60 inch. I'll leave it alone. Let's go to this one. Mess with it. Okay, so we got to change the cab. I wonder what cab. I wonder if it was a new one. Oh, you know what? Shoot. Hold on. Back to the mod manager for, for a sec. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I thought... Uh, I like the Viper. I really do. Like, I did a whole lot of skins for it. And it's a truck I kind of pretty much learned to do skins on. And uh, yeah, it would have been a bummer to lose it. Because those guys got a hold of it for a while there, and my God, they made a mess of it. Uh, let's let's just search in here for Hell Creek. I'll see if that skin I was working on is in here. I hope I didn't ditch it for some reason. Oh shoot. Oh, there it is. Nope. Oh, that's the big garage. Hell Creek Trucking. Oh, man. What the hell's going on there? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just... Uh, That's fine. Oh, uh, no, it's not exit just yet. One other thing to check down here. Hell Creek Big Garage. So here, uh, so King County. So I'm going to put the King County Garage under the Hell Creek, Creek Garage, and we'll get Hell Creek Trucking will be the active garage, and then we could switch it after. So let's do that. Yeah, we'll we'll that's the sequence of events we'll run here. We'll go get our nukes and we'll do something out of the port of Houston. 
Now, um, yeah, we've got, we've got to look at the trailer options and see what's going on in there. I think our nukes is a cargo mod. I'm not mistaken. I'm so new to it. A cargo mod for the existing trailer. Uh, so let's go truck manager. Take that one. And we're going to relocate it to Houston. Put it there. And let's go trailer manager and see what we got. We got... There's that container carrier. So here's a regular container carrier. And here's this Ophi one. If you haven't seen this thing, it's freaking sharp. And let's... Uh, let's go trailer purchase. And we'll go Ophi right there. And fleet. And we'll click it and customize it. So I've used it as a double. SEO garages paint jobs on Steam. SEO garages paint jobs on Steam. Hmm. So we got four axles. Okay, well what about this chassis? LLL SL 2 plus 1 SL LH L what's all this oh oh I see okay single double triple I did a triple in a convoy a while back that was kind of fun a triple in not a convoy a video that was that was a good trip but let's just try a single but what's the biggest single I can get here? So it's all the same chassis. Hmm. Oh, uh, the Hell Creek truck. Well, the paint job is mine. It's up on Steam. And the, um, yeah, let's uh, let's just go there. Let's do that trailer. See, I got the um, Hell Creek Logistics, and I had a paint job going for the truck. I'm kind of surprised I can't find it. Unless I put it in... Uh, that's just kind of weird. I really wonder if I... Uh, shoot. You got everything. You can put Hell Creek Logistics all over it. I was just experimenting with all the places you can put it. I could have put it on here. Well, that's kind of cool. Uh, so it's going to do like a shipping, can, you know, shipping type company. So we'll use that trailer and uh, purchase it. Put it in Houston. And the Hell Creek um, Garage Mod, I'm getting ready to put it up on... Um, where am I going to put it? On... Uh, Trucky. I can't put it on Steam for some reason. I have my uh, my Kings County Garage one there. God dang it. Why isn't that paint job showing up? Let's do one other thing here. Go to this one. Or I could... Yeah, it's... I think this one will let us change the caps. Yeah, it will. I don't think any of that matters. Flat top. I wonder if I didn't change the uh, icon on it. No, it doesn't look like it. Shoot. That is a bummer. Okay. We'll just use the other truck. Okay, so we're going to use that one. It's in Houston. Driver manager. Oh, wait a minute. Before we go there, let's have a look at what we got for a drivetrain in it. Save us going to the shop after the fact. 31st 6B tuned from uh, 
Well, that's got quite an aggressive tune in it. Well, you say it's got less torque. Put that in there. Yeah, we'll we'll pull this and I, I like this uh, way this skin came out. It's doing pretty good on Steam, I think. Transmission. That'll do. And driver manager. Put him in the truck. Okay. Trailer manager. Use. Now I think I have a mod in my uh, mod order that should make uh, our Nook stuff work with this trailer. We're going to find out. Oh, we're going to change the time of day here too. Oh boy, here we go. That's better. So here's the Hell Creek Tracking Yard. So this is the one that I'm going to be putting up on Steam soon. Got the tanker. I might change that stupid tanker to get rid of that rear wheel problem. Change to the 43 so you don't get those rear wheels sticking out. That's a goofy thing. It's got a bunch of trailers. Reefer. 53 foot reefer. 53 foot step deck. And 53 foot flat deck curtain sides. In the tanker, some hopper bottoms somewhere. Should be some hoppers. Anyway, let's see kind of... Oh, and then park trucks, of course. Let's um, see what we got for jobs in Houston. Ah, oh, that's really jerky. And it's Port of Houston where I want to go. Pick up. Pretty sure it's Port of Houston. Flat rack. Oh, I that would be cool to junction. That's no, not far enough. Let's go down here. Port of Houston, Santa Ana. Oh, that's real far. Back up a bit. Can I get one more run in? I'd like to go over to the uh, other joint. The other yard. Wow, we're Port of Houston to Clinton, Oklahoma. Frozen fruit, fruits. I wouldn't mind getting one with that uh, flat pack thing. Flat pack, there we go. To Odessa. That's not bad. We'll take that. Cool. It's urgent. Hey, thanks, Porty. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. Well, we'll see the little... How far do I gotta go? We'll find out here. 37 miles. I've heard good things about you. Oh, there she goes. I was told that you roll stop signs, speed occasionally, and get lost frequently. Let's see if we can do something about these bad habits. Maybe we can make a proper driver out of you yet. You think? <laughs> What's going on here? A lot of trailer brakes on. The trailer brand is uh, Ophi. O apostrophe apostrophe P H E E. So we got the uh, signs on the gate. Hell Creek Trucking. So Pups, uh, Pappy Pups made the logo. And I got permission from him to use it. He made the logo for the VTC. And so this is the official sort of yard of our VTC, I guess. And it's going to be up on Truckee as soon as I can get a few things ironed out. But uh, I think what we'll do is we're going to fly over there. We're going to fly over to the job. Why not? Save a little time. We'll spend all our time running around empty here. That doesn't pay. <laughs> Well, unless you're doing hot shots, is then you get paid to come. You charge, so that's the whole thing I liked about doing the hot shots is you're charging essentially twice as much to get something somewhere in a hurry. 
because the assumption is you're going to be coming back empty and which in 99% of the times you are you must have been a terrible boy scout turn around as soon as you can no <laughs> hey thanks CJ yeah it's pretty cool did you check the Kings County uh, truck lines one I put up on, uh, straight on. it's up on um, Truckee there's a link to it in my discord I think uh, hmm. Crikey. Yeah, I think so. I'm relieved that we have arrived yeah. safely at our destination. Yeah, there is under goggles, Why new skins or whatever. And see the shipper receiver while I regain my composure. Oh, dearie. Oh, and try blowing your horn before you back up. We only went a few feet. My God. Let's see. I wonder if I can get back far. It's probably up that aisle right there that we can't see in. If I had to hazard a guess, I would say that's the case. It would just back up. Yeah, there it is down there. They got barriers right in the way down there. You gotta watch those things. We'll go right around. Yeah. Oh, that was fun when Gamer and I were making those. Oh boy. Stupid phrases you put in. I got dollar I got it it's complicated, but I wrote it all down. And I went through it with Gamer and I got all the instructions for how to do it written down. So I'm going to have to... Gamer's kind of checked out. I don't know when he's going to be back or if he'll be back, but... Uh, I do have the instructions, so I'm going to... What I want to do... So you use voice to text. Or text to voice, sorry. And you go get a free text to voice mod. Which is what I'm using there. And... Um, you... Uh, you have all the phrases, the standard phrases that is used for the game GPS. And then you... What? There's no cargo. Oh, well, that bites. Okay, so that didn't work. So the flat stack thing doesn't work with this trailer. Oh, we got to abandon. I'm not going to drive an empty trailer. Okay, so now... Job market... So we can't take a flat stack. Shoot. So flat rack and it shows the darn trailer. Shoot. Well, I'll be horn swoggled. What the heck is going on? I think what I should do is swap the trailer out for a SCS trailer and take the flat rack. I think that'd be the best thing to do. Skip the old fee thing till I learn more about it. I know I can get loads on it. I've done it in a video, but I would kind of like to have a better show what I'm doing here. Trailer manager, container carrier, our nooks goes in trailers. Oh, oh, okay. Shoot, uh, try that. So, our nooks container pack. Oh, I should have probably loaded it from the other. Oh no, there we go. The Ophelia adapter. Oh, okay, well, let's see. Ophi trailer. So our Nux goes. So Ophi scale our Nux compatibility. I think that's the one you mean. So put it above those two or three, right there. Oh, up. <laughs> so compatibility mod. That's it right there, right? Ophi scales our Nux compatibility. Have we got the order right now? I 
I have a sneaking suspicion the answer is going to be yes, but uh, I'll wait. That darn 20-second delay is annoying. Dun, 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 dun. Where's that? Where's that? What was that program where they had that waiting music? Oh, um, oh. I showed Alex Trebek. <laughs> You're supposed to be able to answer all those questions. So, could work. Okay. I think it could work there. Drew's new truck looks nice. Yeah, for sure. I haven't checked it out yet, but I did look at the preview of it. And uh, Freebird's going to get a Arnook below. Arnook below. Okay. Right there. So Arnook's and then the Ophi. Okay, let's try it. The drop of low. <laughs> That's it. I'll take mod order for 500, please, Alex. Awesome. Okay. So now let's uh, fly around there to the uh, compatibility mod on top. Yeah, it's uh, it's on top. Well, let's find out. So I had the compatibility something or other, then something or other, and then the... I hope I got that right. God dang it. Gary says our nook below. Yeah, that's our nook is below all of that. Okay. Uh, let's drive. We'll just, we'll just kind of, well, wait a minute. We can probably just drive down this alley here that we're in. Oh, we got to put our trailer back on. Ditched it preemptively. Trailer manager. Oh, fee there. Oh, not that one. It's a new one. That one. Don't need the four axle guy, I don't think. Jeopardy, that's it. God, why can't I remember that? I've heard good things about you, but I was told that you roll stop signs, speed occasionally, and get lost frequently. Let's see if we can do something about these bad habits. Maybe we can make a proper driver out of you yet. So yeah, we're talking about the uh, that dry that voice mod, nav mod. Oh yeah, that front axle steers. Very cool. Look at that. Awesome. Uh, I want to do get to a pay voice thing and get uh, like John Wayne and Clint Eastwood and stuff like that. Oh, no worries, Scott. Uh, it didn't rain, though, did it? <laughs> as long as it didn't rain on you. Okay. Uh, oh, now we got stuff. Houston Corpus Christi. Oh, one of my favorite drives. Let's do that. Flat rack container, 55,000 pounds. Look at that car parts. Yeah, this is going to be good. Okay, I imagine we're going to have to go to the same place. Let's see if we just can back around there. Got her in high-speed reverse here. That's risky. We've got kind of a long truck for high-speed reverse in these tight confines. Oh, it's not down there. Shoot. I probably could have been looking for it. <laughs> yeah, she's and your friend wouldn't be wrong. But I like to do a few Clint Eastwood, you know, some like based on like any which way but loose and right turn Clyde and <laughs> that kind of thing. And then you get the John Wayne one. Well, I just had to get out of the saddle because my my ass was sore. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be kind of fun. Okay, let's see what it looks like here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Very cool. Oh, man, that's sweet. Look at the detail on it. Oh, that looks good. 
Yeah, I got to get to work on that Hell Creek logistics. So, just to you know, get this thing out of the way. See on the uh, toolbox? So, that's the logo that goes on the door of the truck. And it's just another one of these simple ones. A black truck. The, the nice uh, chrome-looking logo. And, uh, like, oh, yeah. Language. Oh. Well, I had to get out of the saddle because my... My backside was sore. I've heard good things about you, but I was told that you <laughs> roll stop signs, speed occasionally, and get lost frequently. Uh, Let's see if we can do something about these bad habits. Maybe we can make a proper driver out of you yet. Yeah, the Terminator look. Yeah, I, I kind of... The, I was using the uh, that logo creator, that creative text tool, that's it, creative text, to make that. Oh, I love this truck. Can't tell you much, I love this truck. Let's get something up on the little computer there. Let's see, trip economy, I guess we can put that on there. We're styling. Riding a little high in the seat, though. A little tall in the saddle. Must have been all the John Wayne talk. Got us all jacked up. So is the stream still looking okay or nothing changed? Hey, Platty. Yeah, it's, uh, it is actually. I can't remember how much. I don't think it was crazy. You guys getting on the free server tomorrow afternoon, Platy? Or I guess Easter's getting in the way. Trailer for a Coronado. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'm going to have to check that truck out. 20. Yeah, that sounds right. It's... Yeah, I think it's worth it. Like... Boy, but look at this... Uh, our nukes container things on that nice trailer. Really sweet. See what the ratchet straps look like on this side. Oh, they're oh they're portables. Okay, I hate those portable ratchet straps with a passion. God dang. Uh, no, I don't think so. I was just wondering. Like I saw you and. Um, uh, Pops and George were getting on there on the occasional Sunday afternoon. Brutus Reef for 70 inch raised roof. Now, what do we do out of here? A usual route, it looks like. Continue straight on. Continue straight on. Oh, is she going right or left here? She's staying to the right. You must have been oh. a terrible boy scout. Oh. Turn around as soon Bang. as you can. I kind of thought it was going to be to the left there, but it's looking at the map and it looked like it jogged right. I should have zoomed in my map. I don't think I've been directed that way yet out of there. Flight simming. Oh, okay. Whew. Excuse me.
Yeah, that would have been nice if uh, the voice now had a distinguished there. Keep to the left, and then turn left. Well, this thing steers and drives nice too, though. Like the gloss you get on the paint with the reflection turned up. And that's uh, when I do the black. Oh, this black is set in... Uh, you can't paint this one. This is black from uh, uh, paint.net. find out what's going on with uh, the new version of Mod Studio 2 because uh, I've got a K100 skin ready to go with the DROM add-on you know for the uh, Kings County truck lines for the K100 I got all the cabs forward rear axle DROM add-on done but the DROM um, when you, you need the advanced mod and so to test it out and put the skin on trucks I've, I've pulled up a saved uh, skin in my from projects for Mod Studio 2 that had the drum, so it was an advanced skin, and I was able to test it out and everything, but when I um, exit to the left. got it, <laughs> could have been so clear last time. Anyway, uh... What happened was um, when you go in to do the advanced skin, which the DROM needs because it's an accessory, the XML, the truck choices, don't show up under truck in Mod Studio 2 in the new version that lets me do these garage mods. So that's a bit of a bummer. Oh, an F4 Phantom. Oh, wow. Those are wild F4 Phantoms. Remember when I was a little kid seeing one at an air show? Well, there was two of them actually flying in. Holy cow, they're a menacing looking thing. They, they look all business. Let's hope this route is going to take us out along the, the uh, Gulf. It should. Oh no, we're, we're in 18th. Keep to the left, and then exit to the left. Exit to the left. Big skyline of Houston out there. I guess I should zoom my map in a little bit. Keep to the left. Keep to the left. Oh wow, that's cool. Nice. It's quite the drive through here. Keep to the left. Oh, better jump in here. 
Gonna have a catastrophic accident. Uh oh. There's AI. Dastardly AI. You stay over there, buddy. Don't be turning into me. Can't find the VTC, so if you're in Trucks Book, uh, you should be able to search for Hell Creek Trucking. Jeez. Or an AI. Scared the pants off me. Yeah, that F4 Phantom sure had a long service life. A lot of variants. Continue straight on. No, it's not the same. Truck's book is something different. So you got to just search for Truck's book. I think it's dot. I think it's the EU, isn't it? It's in uh, hosted out of Europe. Stream quality keeps dropping. Oh boy, that bites. I wonder if there's have any veteran live streamers on here. Maybe I could make a tweak to the settings live as we're going. I wonder. Or do you have to restart the stream? Whoops. Continue straight on. Oh wow, video card drivers. What uh, video card are you running, uh, EJ? Keep to the left. Yeah, Trucksbook, I'm pretty sure it's Trucksbook.eu or something. Just search for Trucksbook. You should find it. Kind of has a hazy look to the stream. Oh man. Can you check your settings like the in your YouTube window, the little gear, the little icon or cog? Can you click on it and see and then go uh, quality and see what the video quality is set to? And then, exit to the right. 1080i. Turn right now. Yeah.
Yeah, Truckbook is like an app. It's you install it on your desktop, and it's like this big interface. You can go in and you know look and see how you're doing on your VTC and everything. And ten eighty P. Wow, it looks bad. Oh, that's not so good. Shoot. <clears throat> See, that's one thing that's bugging me about OBS is if you set up a streaming... So I'm using the same settings I use for recording to stream. But if you go in and you change the stream settings... It changes the recording settings and if I and I select a separate scene what they call a scene which I have uh, ATS and then I have live stream well if you change the settings in one it changes it in the other so I was hopefully in a compromise Keep to the right and then hey Vaughn right. how you doing turn right now Hope you got a uh, good dose of coffee in you and a couple of those gigantic cinnamon rolls. <laughs> and uh, yeah, call keeps dropping me but also I'm watching on a S23. Oh, that's a phone, is it? Yeah, watching the stream from a coffee shop. Okay, so how's it look? Is it okay or don't get that sticky cinnamon stuff all over your phone screen? <laughs> or maybe have your laptop with you. Eating cinnamon rolls, I'll bet, yeah. Oh yeah, we do get to go on the Gulf here. Hey, Jeffrey. Yeah, it's hard to say. I'm uh, kind of frustrated with this whole streaming thing, like trying to get something that looks good. Here goes Kings County. Hopper Bottom. Might do... Oh, here comes the plane again. Might do uh, one of those trips next. <laughs> cool old steerman. Summertime tomorrow. Wow, another one right away. And he'll set other one. Where did the other guy got to? He can't be coming. Oh, jeez. We get going here. They spawn them that quickly. Yeah. Just make another pass here. Uh oh. Keep to the left <laughs> and then turn. Left. Oh, yeah, there's two of them. Turn left now. Oh, boy. <laughs> We're going to get in trouble here. Oh, 
Uh oh. Load is pretty heavy, 55,556 pounds. Wow, that's a lot of fives. A little pixelated. Hmm. I wonder if I'm sending too much data. That could be a problem. I gotta tone down the stream quality. Yeah, I might be sending too much. Maybe the trick to a good stream is not trying to make it look like you're my uh, my screen. Keep to the right and then exit to the right. Exit right. I like the wear around those holes and the uh, the locking and pin locations on the uh, container. I think I gotta stay in this lane, don't I? Come on, darling. Let me know. Continue straight on. Oh, it ends up there. Keep to the right. Hey, Kenneth. Welcome, Atlanta. Keep to the right. That's one big honking freeway you guys got going through town there in Atlanta. Not good on the TV. Ready to turn right. Yeah, probably sending too much data. We have to tone it back. I should try Turn using. Right it would probably be a good idea. Is get a different software set up to do the streams, so I can skip OBS. Turn left now. Maybe go back to just streaming straight onto YouTube, if that's possible. Or, you know what, if I could figure it out, I can stream from my video card. <laughs> the one in Atlanta or? Oh, Germany. Wow, cool. Julian. Well. Oh. Is this our left turn? Yeah. That's a question mark. That's not a flag, is it? Oh shoot, I should look at the map. Oh no, we got a little ways to go. Okay. S streaming through the skinning PC. How would I do that if... How would I stream through the other PC? I think I just need to use a different software on here so I don't have to use my recording settings or reset my recording settings every time I want to do a stream. Colorado. Wow, we got folks from all over. That's a big outfit there.
Get ready to turn left. Ryan's from the UK. Cool. Turn left now. Oh, that guy's coming pretty fast. Crikey. I'm relieved that we have arrived safely at our destination. Why don't you run in and see the shipper receiver while I regain my composure? Oh, and try blowing your horn before you back up. Wow. It's Hawks Bay, New Zealand. Wow. So is that anywhere near Invercargill? <laughs> I think it was Invercargill, yeah. Where are we parking this thing? Back in there. Didn't spend much time getting out and looking at this trailer, but it's a cool one. Even further away, <laughs> yeah. My uh, friend Matt Hodgson, he's from uh, Murraway, New Zealand. Oh, you're in the North Island. I wonder where Murray is. It's on the west coast, I think, of one of the islands. I can't remember which one. I know I spied it on the map once uh, Matt explained where it was. Oops. I'm in um, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Oh, it's liftable. Jeez, I didn't even bother lifting it. I'd leave it down for this weight, but that's, uh, we'll drop the load and lift her up. <laughs> Is he driving the FLX? Nice. Okay, it's off. North Island. Higher up coast for me, near Auckland. Yeah, that makes sense because they're trucking businesses run out of Auckland headquarters is in Auckland that makes sense uh, okay let's have a look at this lift axle we we'll zoom in here a bit oh we, we, we get a look at it now oh, there's stuff in the way all those barriers let's drive out of here So we're gonna I'm gonna get them cranked like that and then they're gonna lift them. They should straighten out, I guess. Well can I get that to be right there? That'll work. Alright, let's lift them up. Oh yeah, they steer straight. Oh look at that. Is that smooth or what? Sweet. And they don't come through the top of the fenders. Very nice. That is a nice trailer, yeah, for sure. The detail on it is so good. Like, um, just take a quick peek here. Well, uh, one of the things I noticed I really like on it, I don't get going too fast here. I guess we better get, let's go on the sunny side. Is just all that old detail. I got my Hell Creek logos all over it. I think. Yeah, I didn't put the one behind the, the leg. You can do one on that leg. So that's going to be the logo on the truck. There are airlines to the uh, airbags to lift and lower the axle. And then there's the brake pots behind there. The uh, locks for locking the pins in. Or when the car was dropped on there. Spare tires. I can't remember. This is the one that has... Look at... 
got a steer tire here and we got a rear tire on the other side the spares and you can choose that you can choose what do you want where but yeah it's a it's a pretty nice axle brake arms airbags shocks lines airlines for the airbags distribution for the system air tank yeah it's not to like this is the drop axle air bag up front of the air pot there for the so in that thing air goes in it it articulates and pulls that uh, puts that axle on the ground <laughs> oh boy let's have a check let's see oh that label's getting pretty old and that's all curled up can we see oops instructions so what about the uh, certificate certificate huh it's getting a little old looking mm -mm -mm. Oh, I don't know platy that could be a deal breaker buddy oh that's a drag god dang it well I'll report back on it regularly <laughs> Okay, so now, last trip of the day, I'm going to do something different. Let's go... Oh, you know what? we got to end with the K100. We do. we got to end with the K100. It's a must. So what we'll do... Tease you with that darn skin that I can't get working. Uh, I'll figure it out. I'll get a hold of Polly. And uh, I meant to do that yesterday, and I didn't. Uh, what are we doing here? Uh, I want my K100. Or did I do it in? I think it's in this profile. Let's have a look. Let's. Let's see. Yeah, cut the garage mod in here. Cool. All right. Let's. Uh, have at her. Oh. Yeah, I want to exit there. Yeah, we want to continue. So, I guess you guys saw the video where uh, I took a, a run with the K100, I think it was, in the Kings County cattle hauler, or cattle pot, right out of the freight market with the Hell Creek paint on it, or the uh, Kings County paint. That is so cool. Yeah, so here's the drums. That's uh, the drum add-on. I got this thing is ready to go up on Steam. I got all the... This thing's a bugger to paint that box because nothing is the same. Nothing lines up. But I want to take this for a run. I haven't even driven it yet. I just put the paint job on it. But I want to get it in the game for you guys into Steam. But... So this is the Kings County Yard. Carson City, it looks like, with the mountains right there. Uh, I'd like to pull a reefer. Uh, if I can get a reefer out of the freight market, that would be kind of cool. So this one has a ton of trailers in the yard. I think I got seven different trailers. Let's see. Oh, my God. Is Zeke. <laughs> I put a... I'm not leaving that in there. That's some kind of... I think it's a 671 Detroit all hopped up. And I wanted to see what it sounded like because I worked on 671s when I was on the rigs as a mechanic. Oh, my God. So, anyway, we got a 53-foot uh, hopper, cattle pot, uh, food tanker, milk, uh, a 43-foot hopper, Oh, wait a minute. The other one's a 48, and this is a 43. Cattle pot. Curtain side. And a reefer. No, what you do, John, is uh, you can have trucks book to uh, have it so it starts when you... There's an option. So it just starts as soon as you start your computer... And you don't have to touch it after that. It'll automatically log your miles. 
You don't have to mess with it. Okay, so we gotta find out where service and go change this engine. I'm not gonna do a, a video with that. Oh, we're in Bishop. Oh, right up the road. Oh, we'll drive up there and change this engine. Yeah, it's a two-stroke all right. Yeah, I worked on these things on the oil rigs. Well, the oil field twins, they were called. Like there were two six-cylinders back-to-back running a common compound and then you'd have a whole bunch of them doing stuff. The green leakers. And this has got way more power than a real green leaker would. It's got a Jake break. <laughs> that was an unusual option on uh, 670 or any of the two strokes. God, yeah, I, I, uh, I'm a big fan of inline six. Big displacement, low revving. That's what I like. I don't like it all a busy motor for a truck. No, uh, no, no, John, you can have, so when you start your computer, truck spoke will automatically start. So you never have to touch truck spoke. Like I, I run it like day in, day out. I hardly ever look at it. I'll bring the truck's book application up to see how we're doing on mileage and stuff, but I never open the app if I don't, you don't need to. Oh, God, listen to that thing. Hey, Freebeard, take care. Really nice of you to drop in. Appreciate I know you're busy, so thanks so much. Oh, where's this service? Is it right here? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, if you're not watching Freebird, Free, uh, Freebeard's um, YouTube, there's a link. Oh yeah, you watch all two stroker. Yeah, I check, I check him every now and then too. Oh man. Okay, so what is it? Yeah, it's a 671, all hopped up, 700 horsepower. It's just out of this world. So we're gonna toss it out of this world. I might try that C12. I mean, well, the 3406B, though, come on. What are we going to get for... Let's do a six and a quarter 3406B. That's the kind of gear ratio we're going to run with that. 336 will work. Yeah, Jake's Jake break is uh, Jacobs is uh, independent, and the factories install their system. They or rather they get it. Yeah, it's pretty sure that's how it goes. Uh, let's go to oh, it's AM. That's fine. Job market. We're gonna see if we can pull a load with one of our company reefers. Okay, nothing here. We'll just look in general. Uh, we're going to have to look for... We'll just go to... We get into the distance range we're looking for. Where are we? 390? We could go a little further than that. Oh, we're still not going too far. Oh, wait a minute. i got to click something. Oh, yeah. Now we're going real far. No, that's not far enough. This is the range. Okay, so let's start looking in around here for something with a one of our own trailer skins. Well,
Yeah, the 3408. Interesting engine. Not really meant to be a truck engine, but it was a stopgap. Cat used for a while. Oh man, why am I not finding any loads for this trailer? Or sorry, with any of the... Uh, what's our distances going down to? They're getting down. Oh, this is disappointing. Because I can't make a mod or a job of trucking mods because what I'm trying to do is pull one of the skins out of the freight market that I don't have available yet. Yeah, okay, Kenneth. All the best, my friend. Take care. I'll catch you on the next one. Oh, this is really weird. Let's just go pick on dots around California. See what we find. If there's anything pops up. I should have checked one. Okay. Fresno. Well, this is no good. Okay, I, I got a plan. All right, let's see if it's in this profile trailer manager. Uh, so let's see what happens here. If I configure this paint. Oh, it's not in here. Oh, boy. Hold on. Okay, let's jump out here real quick. Got kind of the wrong cab for it, but we're desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be Kings, oops. Kings County SCS Food Tanker. So this is a work in progress here. And once again, this is another thing that having some issues with uh, Mod Studio 2, or it'd be published by now. But it's pretty darn cool. Let's uh, show you. Oh, we'll get out of here. Uh, you Maybe we can do a B double. I wonder what that would work like. Let's see if we can. That'll be kind of fun. Dun, 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 dun. Suspense is killing me. Come on. Let's get on with it. Trailer manager. Now, do I have any food food tank insulated for food tanks? Food tanks. Just the one? Well, I guess we'll mess with it. So, configure it. Paint. Kings County. Now we got Kings County. So this is coming up. I'm working on this. But here's the problem. That fender, I can't figure out how to paint it. And Polly and I got together last week and he showed me where to add that into the uh, accessory in the uh, so in mod studio 2 under accessories that fender came up and you choose paint it still doesn't paint god dang it so what happens if i make it a b double oh it doesn't do a real b double shoot so if i go it's that's just an a train if i go rocky mountain double I do need, and I change that to a pop. Then it does that. Still looks like, oh yeah, and it also, you lose the undercoat from that mod. Ah, uh, shoot. So that's no good. So what about if we just went single and we went for a big one? And these fenders aren't painted. My God. It's always something. God, 
God, that stupid mod. Oh, that's no good. Let's see. Can we do anything that... No, that's not going to work either. Accessories. Nothing due to the fenders. See, that's holding this skin up. It should be paintable like that. And then it would look right. Oh, darn it. Now that looks right. See, oh, why? How, how is this so hard? Well, I don't think it's SCS. I think it's Mod Studio 2. Oh, well, we could just, uh, to save time, we'll just leave the stock wheels on it. Haul a real big one here. Got to put the double pipes because who knows how close we can get to anything. Probably be emptying this stuff from out on the street. Let's see, what do we got under here? Oh, exclusive lights. Well, this side you can put a tire. And this side you can put a toolbox. And if you put go to put a toolbox on the other side, you lose the tire, which is kind of weird. Uh, get the lights. I'll have another spare tire. And it's up there, which is kind of weird that that causes an issue. And I got mud flaps for it, so at least I got that working. I got a lot of mud flaps for it. That's going to cost a lot of money. <laughs> all right, let's uh, just take that for a rip. We'll, oh, wait a minute. Exclusive. Get her all dolled up in the back here. I don't think you can do the fronts. No. Yeah, for sure. I really like it. I like it on the old fre um, white Freightliner, too. So let's uh, use this. Let's wait for the garage. Is it the garage in Fresno now? <laughs> pipes. Bagpipes, yeah. Long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Okay, let's uh, job market. Let's see if we can get with this thing. Nothing here. Lone Pine. We want, no, Yosemite going up over. No. Oakdale going over the mountain. No. Shoot. Carson City coming back. No. Sacramento going to. No, we're good. Darn it all. Well, Prim. Las Vegas. Tanopa. Oh, I want to do something kind of interesting. Los Angeles, nothing. Oakland. Lakeview. Well. Medford to where? Reading. That's boring. Route 66. Yeah, something down here. So that would be like, uh, we'd have to get down around Kingman. Flagstaff, no. There wasn't anything in those places. Phoenix. Goodyear. Gila Bend. Gila Bend. Roswell, New Mexico. That's... I don't think that's going the right way. Our Route 66 does go through... It's going to hit Joplin right there. It cuts through here and it goes down through Oklahoma. Kingman is part of it. Flagstaff, Gallup, going west. Nope. Palm Desert, Indio. Clovis, dang it. Pipes and pints. <laughs> Shoot, what are we going to do with this monstrosity of a trailer? Kind of be good to get it out on the highway. Oh, 
darn it. Well, let's take whatever we can get over here. San Antonio, that's a little far. Barso is not far enough. Boy, we got this real Reno to nothing coming back. Alco, that's Boise. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, we'll take Reno to Boise. We'll go up through there. That'll wrap it up nicely. Reno to Boise. Okay, set his GPS. And we were at this site already. Oh, well, let's go to Reno. Oops, I was just back that up. Reno. And get the map up here. Uh, real exports right up the road. There we go. Oh, well, that's really good. Why aren't we moving? Oh, here we go. Okay. See if I, see if I can get into this real yard on the first shot this time. Took a few efforts there last time we were here. Terrors behind us. Yep. Looks kind of goofy with the draw mat on, but what the heck? The time has arrived, President Wazer. Ah. The world awaits your commands. Really? Nice. Hello, world. Command E to give me a good trip. Oh, I hope we have enough engine for this. Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. Yeah, it's funny how you get to uh, you get to certain spots in the map, and you go, "I haven't seen enough of this," and it's cool. I like it. It's like when a new DLC comes out. <laughs> okay, I still remember to turn right here. In four hundred meters, turn right. Yeah, the uh, ATS expansion is awesome. Turn right. You've arrived. It's been my honor and duty to see you through this mission. <laughs> hey, we're just getting started there, Morgan. What just happened? Oh, I hit the wrong. There we go. That's the one. This should be kind of interesting up here. Looking forward to that part of the drive north of Winnemucca. And you're going to see the difference on uh, with the Reforma map from Reno to Winnemucca, how different the highway is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I don't. I, uh, I like having enough power, but, it, you know, getting too much power is kind of a bummer. Oh, they're wanting us to. Uh, Park this thing, look at that up there. Yeah, it looks really funny with the draw mat on. Yeah, that's pretty neat, that mine. Okay, here we go. There are those who would like to see you fail in your journey. That's not going to happen on my watch. Alright, I will be able to get let's out go. of here, no problem. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I like the way he says that. Let's go. It's like it's a secret. We're gonna go. Let's go. Oh, 57,320. We should be good. We got 18 speeds. We're gonna use them all. left oh what's he got no wait a minute what am i seeing on the map does that is there a little side road over there i didn't know about i guess there is oh cool all right i'm all gearing up to give a lot of clearance for a right hand turn here 
Hope I didn't mess that up too bad. Oh, we're good. We must be 400 meters. Turn right. Oh yeah, I've been up this little road before. Been forever. Turn right. I come down it actually. I haven't gone up it before. Yeah, we're turning right on a red here. Keep right. And then turn right. Without stopping. Turn right. You gotta go to the mine in uh Concepcion Concepcion Oro in Mexico. Oh my god. Uh, that's one wild mine. Keep well, I'm going to see how we do with our six and a quarter horsepower here. Get this thing up to speed here. I ring it out a little bit. Oh man. Oh, I want to watch the Matt's videos so badly. But I'm telling myself I can't watch any until I get some other work done. Because as soon as I start watching them, I'm going to be. There goes a the cattle pot. Kings County uh, in traffic. But yeah, I, as soon as I sell his custom trucks, gets my juices flowing and I gotta start making new skins. Yeah, the, the pickup truck. Yeah, that's right. Oh, shoot. I meant to do that. Oh, that's another thing I got on my to-do list. That pickup truck, that Toyota. The uh, Nimit is... See, there's a template for it now. A nicely detailed template bin. You can put a paint job on that thing. So, what I got to do... Yeah, no worries. <laughs> I uh, What I got to do is... Uh, I want to look up paint jobs for that truck that are real like custom or off-road or something I'd like to make one I haven't done that yet like uh, made a really cool real-life pickup truck skin that's from a template that's that paintable that many parts pretty cool like I did the uh, Montana Express one for the left lane gaming uh, Ford F450 that was pretty cool. The Super Duty. That was uh, that paint job looked really good on that truck, but it wasn't complicated. It was just something easy. Love that view. I keep it on the road here. It's like flying a radio control airplane. It's coming at you, you don't know what the heck to do. Alright, we got trouble up ahead here. The Kings County curtain side step deck looks like.
Getting pulled by a 389. Boy, the collar is really washed out. Wow, what is going on with this snowy moon? And look at the scenery is all messed up too. Oh darn it. Well that's a bummer. Oh boy. That's weird. Uh, wow. Yeah, you might need to uh, just step away and let it go. Okay, this, this white mountains and everything and the red on things is all washed out. I'm going to pull over here. I'm going to uninstall Stony Moon real quick. Because this is a mess. And you see if that fixes that problem. That's no good. We can't carry on like that. Oh, wait a minute. I'll just do a... Well, it's going to save anyway when I quit. Yeah, OBS, man. I really wish there was something to do about that that makes sense. So... Uh, da -da -da. this won't take a sec. I'm just going to go in and just, I have the Snowy Moon file saved, so I'm just going to delete them out of the folder. Uh, let's go to here. C. And Steam. Apps. Common. In. And, oh, do I, I don't even have it running. What? I don't even, oh, reshade, yeah, that's where it goes. All right, let's just cut that and put it on the desktop. All right, go back into the game. See if uh, everything's got proper color again. That's weird. Snowy moon, eh? And now my frame counter for my video card is showing up at the top of the screen again. Well, maybe that's because I'm restarting. I don't know why it went away. I couldn't bring it back with the button earlier. Okay. I think it should look a lot better now, but we might have that little shimmering that we get with that. Oh, Let's get going. You should see the mountains. Many foreign nations await your arrival. Okay. Well, that's going to be interesting to see those leaders of foreign nations at Farmer's Barn. Hope they got their wellies and overalls. end up rushing that shift with this engine and this engine's a little lazy on the rpm drop oh yeah i, I love this truck so much Lately, I've been leaving that spot mirror off on the sides because right. it, it kind of ruins it. It's all like octagonal, kind of hexagonal. Uh, oh, that's an idea. I wonder. I didn't even think of that. 
I have to look in Task Manager and see what it's called. See if it's Snowy Moon. That's a good idea, right. actually. And then turn right. Turn right. <laughs> yeah, it takes a little while to get used to the 18 speed, that's for sure. But the 18 speed, a good way to get used to it is just um, introduce one thing at a time. So get yourself a 10 speed transmission, or a 9 speed's even better if you can find a 9, or drive a 10. Uh, yeah. But anyway, and just use the range and just get used to using the range, going up and down through the box and using the range and then introduce the splitter like with a 13 speed so you're not splitting across the range shift when you select the range there's no split across there you're in low range your splitter's back you do your five gears keep left and then turn left oh uh, that reminds me uh, and then anyway so then do a 10 get used to it Turn then left. do a 13, get used to that, and then do the 18 where you're splitting in the top and bottom range. Here's a, uh, here's that 13 speed shifter. I don't know if you can see that. Can I tell? This is a 13 speed. It's got the red knob. And when it's in low, that's locked out. So you can't move the splitter. When the splitter's in high, you can split. So you would go five gears, high range, and then you can split the, the next five so that's kind of cool well actually the next uh four you split you get eight out of the top on a 13 speed but that's what i gotta convert i want to uh i'll make a video of how i made this one There we go. Oh, I meant to go do that. Oh, that must have been what Zeke meant. Go check that Route 66 thing that Spick pointed out last night in convoy. Darn it. Yeah, I really split the low range. I am here, right? I did here because the the amount of weight and the uh, six and a quarter horsepower. But yeah, you, you can drive a th an 18 like a 13 for sure. All right, we're heading out we're gonna be uh the scenic route up to um boise this should be kind of interesting not mistaken this load was semi-urgent wasn't it Close to the danger zone here. Oh boy, I got her on the foot here. Can we go? Yep. All right. Woohoo! Yeah, I've never tried the twin stick thing, and uh, I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna. <laughs> I have enough trouble with the standard with a single stick. Looks like a lot of work to me. Keep 
Oh, speeding. Gotta watch that. Got two beeps out of it. Maybe I don't have the... Uh, I thought I saw the 70 miles... The 79 mile an hour speed limiter in here. Just put it on cruise control. Don't want to lose my mileage. Yeah, I can imagine it's difficult. Well, my problem that I, the, my biggest bugbear with it is I get myself in a lot of tickler situations where uh, you got to be up on the stick and getting after it. And I can't see, like, with a twin stick going up the mountain like we just did in Bellingham. Like, I'd find myself st staying in a range and being too afraid to get out of it because it's, uh, it would just be too much. I'd be, uh, end up stopping all the time and losing any momentum. Yeah, it was close, Pla uh, Spig. <laughs> Heard two beeps. So we're in the SCS map now. This is, we're out of Reforma. It'd be cool if I could make a quick interchange for my shifter, because I have my shifter on a, a DB9 connector. Where is it? Right here. I don't know if you can see this. That's a DB9 connector, so I can unplug it. And these wires here, it's not USB. These wires go into one of my Arduino boards in the back of my panel. So I could change out the shift knob really easy. And then I could leave the 13 speed as a true 13 speed where you can't do 18 with it. The range is locked out in low range. Or the split is locked out in low range. And that would be a pretty cool thing. Oh yeah, Dom's 379, hands down. I love it. And, it, and it's a work in progress. He's got big updates coming, apparently. But, like, there's no 63-inch sleeper. And doesn't, Sissels doesn't work in it. But, it's a wonderful truck. And I, I love painting it. Doing the skins for it, because he's got such a good template. But the truck itself drives nice, looks right. It's a real 379. And I got a bunch of 389 parts on it. The Ruta 389, his version of the 379 is, is not bad. He's done the cab right. But his, his interiors are kind of sad to me. Ruta's interiors, like they got everything, but they just lack texture, detail, and options for, like in the colors are terrible, and I love the trucks though, I really do. I hate to knock it, but his interiors are really lacking. And the colors are all washed out, and you can't get true black can't get a true red oh uh, he got pulled in hardy har har better him than us continue straight
But Route 379, it's got the right door sills, like the flat, the straight door sills, the window sill. Like, you know, right there, that window sill down there, they're straight on a 379. And a 389, they're not. And uh, I believe the hood is right. The grill shell is right. Um, oh, this is... Oh, darn, I should hold back here. I'm wasting my momentum if I get too close to him now. Of course, he's going to get a brilliant burst of power downhill, too. Yeah, we're never going to get around him. I was really happy when Ruta came out with that 379 add-on. Or additional truck, sorry. Well, I see a big hill up ahead here. Hope there's a passing lane. Feeling this guy's not going to be too sporty on this one. If that last hill is any indication. Oh, he's already slowing. He hit the brakes. Oh, you thing. Ugh. Putts. <laughs> he couldn't just ride it out. White knuckle her a little bit. Get around that corner. Uh, darn it. Yeah, I like what Freebeard does with all his true to the, you know, the vintage stuff, throws the old engines in, gets the right shifter box and pattern. That's pretty admirable. Oh, uh, how does the things look? I guess, I guess if the stream's kind of bad, you can't tell. In 400 meters. Without Turn snowy left. moon. I'm kind of okay with it. This is going to be right. a tight one here. When nobody's coming here. Oh, there's somebody. Stay there. Don't go. No, don't get too close. Oh, man. <laughs> that dude. Awesome. Yeah, but well, that would be nice. He he offers the front fenders, but a true or a 900A even. How about that? That would be even cooler. I like the A with the. Uh, like the line in the hood, that uh, swoop. Okay, not as good as usual, okay. I gotta figure something out. Maybe I gotta start practicing. What, what I should do is Pick a time like during the week or something when I'm not going to be getting a whole bunch of people. Oh, goggles are streaming, and do a bunch of little test streams and uh, from my video card. Figure out, okay, and then I could do streaming from there, and not have to touch OBS settings, and I could leave my OBS settings optimized for. Uh, optimize them for um, recording and have a different way to stream that doesn't because the stream settings that are recommended for OBS are quite a bit different than the record settings oh boy this guy's got around oh 
around that guy. Doesn't look like anybody's coming. Oh, we're gonna give him a little fright there. <laughs> Oops. Crystal clear to choppy. Pixelated. Yeah, I think I'm sending too much data is the problem in my stream. Uh, like for streaming, you got to cut it back a little bit. And I'm... I'm... Uh, streaming what normally you'd be saving to a... and compressing to a video format. In the stream, you're sending it out live, so you don't want to be sending out as much data. So that's definitely what's wrong with the stream. I'm sending out my recording settings and way too much information for a stream to deal with. So that's my bad. Yeah, the CTTM 900A, I got it. And uh, it's, it's really, really needing an update. Like the glass is not good when the sun starts getting low and, you know, it's showing its age. I like it. As, as a W900, it's a pretty good one. As an A. I like the, uh, you can use the lifted chassis option for doing some heavy haul stuff. That's kind of cool. Corn just going right up to the road. Well, I don't see that every day. Turn right. Oh, I'm not on the roof. <laughs> Let's turn around like I was on the roof cam. Colors are a lot better on that Kings County truck now with the snowy moon out. That's funny because the snowy moon earlier in the day it seemed to be okay. And then it got all weird so I rebooted my PC and it didn't clear it up. I rebooted just before the live stream. But I don't think my picture looks terrible without snowy moon. Like I don't know. Not super reliant on it, I guess. I shouldn't be. So yeah, I'll figure out something before I live stream again. I guess I should learn to do it on my video card. Where are we going to Bo Boise Farmer's Barn? I've taken very few loads in and out of Boise, so this should be interesting. The GTM? Do you mean the CTTM? Keep right. And then exit right. Where's GTM? Who's GTM? That's mod guys, isn't it? I don't know. Exit right. GTM. Hmm. Keep left. And then turn left. Oh, green light. Let's go get it before turn it turns BC green on us. Another green one. Huh. 
uh, GTM W900B. Okay, yeah, I don't know that truck. It's on steam. Continue straight. I'll park back here on a hill. Can I get a little run, rolling start here? Use some momentum. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You can. Uh... Oh, GPS issues. Radeon Red Live. It was not good. Oh, Relive. So that's streaming with the Radeon software. Oh, bummer. Because that's what I got a Radeon card. Well, that's good. Dodge the bullet there, Cam. It's a big industrial site, farmer's barn plant. Oh, that's good. Turn right. Oh, there's my trailer. There it is. Been my honor and duty to see you through this. Oh, look at this nice, easy park job. style in here no drama <laughs> Tyler oh man I'm just wrapping up the stream but it, it'll be uh, it's recorded so like it'll be on uh, YouTube you can run it hey it did a um, took 260,000 pounds up the mountain at Bellingham <laughs> that was cool that was about the most fun I've had in a long time I like a challenge, and that was challenging. Yeah. Oh, you missed a lot. Uh oh. Yeah, we're just gonna wrap it up. Uh, Ryan got the. Uh, we just did a Kings County trip here. Yeah, I don't know if you have you seen the Kings County yard or not. Oh, I'll uh, show you again here. What we'll do, we'll go to, um, just to kill two birds with one stone. Go Garage Manager. Go Map View. And we'll go Boise. Travel for 56 bucks. And... So it's the draw mat on from, uh, that, that's a mod for the K100 from Overfloater. But I can't publish a skin yet because I'm using the new version of Mod Studio 2. And oh, imagine I could. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I could do it on this computer because I haven't updated Mod Studio 2 on it. Ah, look at that. Because this skin is ready to go. And there's my trailer over there. And this is the uh, Kings County um, garage mod using the. Uh, Jab's big garage mod. So this is up on Truckee right now. So you can find this on Truckee under exterior, ATS, exterior accessories. So this is up and uh, available. And these trailers, I wanted to find one, but in the freight market, you can usually find one. So let's check real quick again. Freight market, we should, yeah, there's one. Hey, uh, what do we got? That's a 53-foot step deck, curtain side. But the cattle pot shows up, which is interesting. But it's... I wonder if I need to... I don't know what I got to do with the spawn ratio. Another tarp side step deck. Let's see. Oh, we could look forever. You should see all of the trailers. There should be hopper bottoms, uh, food tank, 
and straight uh, flat deck, uh, curtain side straight deck. I got to go up here somewhere. Oh, there's a reefer, 53 foot reefer. So anyway, those, you don't need to go get a mod or anything for the skins. Those skins just will appear in this freight market every now and then. Probably the more you use the mod, the more they're going to show up, I guess. Anyway, oh, there's another uh, step side. So anyway, I'm going to have to leave it here because I got stuff to do to get ready for tomorrow. Going to do something for uh, Easter Sunday and I'm in charge of the uh, some of the preparations. <laughs> so anyway, as always, really appreciate you guys following along. And uh, it was a blast, man. That was so much fun. Yeah. I can... Uh, that was a lot of fun. Especially that trip up the mountain. God dang it. Yeah, thanks. It was Stefan. You made it in, right? Were you lurking or were you just popping in now? Yep. Yeah, as always, yeah. I just appreciate the heck out of you guys who are willing to follow along. <laughs> it's great. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, check, yeah, some of the stuff, Ryan. And it was good. It was a fun time. Anyway, uh, all the best, everybody. Happy Easter to everyone. And thanks for that, Stefan. And, uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>